Hello, Type Trust here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a grid in InDesign. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, I have created an empty page in InDesign. And you can do the same if you go up in File and choose New Document. The keyboard shortcut for that is Ctrl N. And this new document will pop up and in here you can just choose any format you would like in this example I will just be choosing a A4 format and just press on the create button right here and let's say we want to create a grid for our design in this InDesign document we can do that really simple so what I typically do before creating a grid is that I choose a color so you can do that if you go up in layout and choose ruler guides in here, there is the view threshold. You don't really have to change that. But if you go down to the color right here, you can see that it right now it is set to this blue one right here. But if you press on this arrow right here, we get all of these options. And what I typically do is just choose a more dark color, like this brick red as an example. And when you have selected your color, just press OK. And now we have now set a color and we are now actually ready to create our grid. So to create a grid, you can go up in layout and go down to create guides. And you can see this menu will pop up right here. And in here you got your rows and your columns. And the number are the numbers of actually rows. And you can see that if you set this to, let's say five rows, it will create these five boxes on our page right here. The gutter is the space between the grid. So we can set this to whatever we would like. We can also set this to zero if you just want the lines and the same for the columns we can set this to let's say five and this to zero and we have now a five row and column grid so you can see that there is five boxes right here and five boxes down here if you go down here to the options you can also choose where the guides should fit to we can choose the margins and what that means is where the grid should start from and as you can see, it is now set to our margins, which is set to 10. And you can also choose this page and it will just take it from the edge of the page. So yeah, you, you can just set this grid to whatever you would like. You can also get eight numbers or 10 numbers in the columns. And you can also, if you would like, change the gutter space. And that is the space between the lines. We can also change this let's say five here and five here and as you can see this begins to look like a grid so when you're done adjusting your rows and columns and have chosen if you want the guides to fit to the margins or the page you can just press ok and we have now created a InDesign grid and right now you uh, can actually remove these guides and that can be quite annoying when you are designing in InDesign so we want to lock these guides so we don't accidentally remove them or delete them. And uh, we can do that if we go up in view and go down to grids and guides and choose lock guides. And as you can see, if we try to select the guides now, they are now locked. So yeah, that is how to actually set up a grid or guides in InDesign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.